think the fact that we have over 60 people here tonight and a waiting list of people that I had to turn away speaks to who he is. He's sort of an icon out there. I am, when Frank Serio, and I want to thank Frank, um, arranged this for me, I was just like really thrilled. I mean, it's, it's really a, a, an honor to have Verlin Thompson here tonight. So I'm sure he'll tell you all about himself. So, Verlin Thompson. probably know a lot of his songs and you don't even realize it. Songs like Could I have his strength for the rest of my life? Would you be my partner every night? When we're together it feels so right. Could I say Harlan, I'm talking about an old guy from Detroit by the name of Harlan Howard. He knows stuff like this. Holyfield and Harlan, and that's why Loretta sent me down, and she said, darling, you should hang around with guys like Holyfield and Harlan. She said they go to lunch, and they smoke cigars, and they'll drink a glass of brandy. She said they write big hits, and they leave big tips, and spend their evenings with their family. Oh, but I'm glad she didn't tell me just how far I show we call the business in this business we call show so I played at the Hickory Holler Mall and I played at Union Station and I learned to do my little 
Johnny Cash impersonation. <laughs> and then one night, he walked out of the back, him and Miss June Carter. And he said, son, I have heard better. Yeah, but not one who tries harder. <laughs> Together they convinced me that I could do it all. Yes, but later it would come to pass. I could not play that part. But see, I would not kiss nobody's ass to get my records on the charts. <laughs> my music brothers and Marie, my music sisters too. Here at home and on the road, this one goes out to you. When the print gets fine on the bottom line, don't give away your soul. To this show we call the business, to this business we call show. It's just a show we you from 30 years ago up to the present. It was, 19, I think, 81 or 80 or 81 when I moved to Nashville. And is this too loud? It's hard to hear. We'll adjust it as we go. But so, so I kind of gave you the the story from 30 years ago. Now, I want to do a song for you about what it is I do today, and uh, and that is this. It's exactly what you see. I just travel around and, and uh, I play my songs for anybody that that's that is kind enough to come out on a night like this and and, and pay however much we're hitting you up for at the door. <laughs> And, you know, arrange for babysitters and dog sitters and, and totally arra rearrange your life to come, come out and hear folks like me and Marie. And we do appreciate it. And, you know, I walked in, I saw this place, and I thought, this is going to be so much fun. Because I've, I've traveled all over the world uh, with my buddy Guy Clark. I'll tell you more about him later. But uh, I've seen so many wonderful places and uh, just when you think you've seen them all you know you, you, you stumble into uh, a place like this a group like you guys and so that's what this song's about it's a list of a bunch of the places I've played and uh, you might recognize some of them and uh, if you don't you ought to check them out because they're all good places <laughs> Poor David's in Dallas to the Gallatin Palace, the Cactus Cafe, the Palms and the Birch. The Bluebird, the Gray Eagle, the Tin Angel, Iron Horse, and of course, the Grand Old Mother Church. The Station Inn, Exit Inn, Fruit Again, Michigan, Flat Rock and Round Rock and Little Rock Jacks. 
Dublin to Tullamore, the down home and the troubadour. Long as they want us, we'll keep coming back. See, we ain't been everywhere, but we're trying to get there. If you let us tune up, we'll throw down the set. Book us a room, we'll be in your town soon, cause we ain't been everywhere yet. The ark and the handlebar, wolf trap in the apple farm, Foodies Hill Country and St. Augustine. At the foot of Denali and down on the Swanee, and that night I can't talk about in New Orleans. <laughs> on the live Freedom Radio, the Birmingham Zydeco, Reno and Conroe, and somewhere in France. A bunkhouse in Brenham and the barns of Vienna. In the riding arena at the real South Fork Ranch. I said we ain't been everywhere, but we're trying to get there. Just let us tune up and we'll throw down a set. Book us a room, we'll be in your town soon. Cause we ain't been everywhere yet. <laughs> Strawberry festivals all. The Liberty Lunch in the Fireman's Kitchen. And tonight here at Arlene's House concert with y'all. I said we ain't been everywhere, but we're trying to get there. Just let us tune up and we'll throw down the set. Because the room will be in your town soon Cause we ain't been everywhere No, but we're sure trying to get there You see, we ain't been everywhere Yet song I left Oklahoma 30 years ago went to Nashville and then I told you in this song I uh, traveling ar around the world playing songs but it, it, if you would go with me I want to take you one step further back because I really didn't take you all the way to the beginning I want to take you back to Oklahoma southwestern Oklahoma and I want to take you to this little meadow in Caddo County, uh, a little valley called the Anadarko Valley. And in that valley, back in the early 40s, there, there was an Indian stomp dance one night. And it was a beautiful thing. The, the, uh, it was ladies' night, believe it or not. They have ladies' night just like we do in the clubs and the bars, you know. And uh, They have ladies' night where all the, the dances are dedicated to the ladies. And the majority of the dances are performed by the ladies. On this particular night, there was an old farm boy from up the road. You see, these dances were open to anyone. It's not just for the Indians. Anyone can come and watch these beautiful ceremonies. And uh, on this night, an old boy from up the road by the name of Don drove down the road in his old car, and he pulled up out in the shadows. And, and uh, he was sitting out there up on the fender with his cigarettes rolled up in his t-shirt sleeve and his blue jeans and his black wavy hair all slicked back and he was watching these ladies do this beautiful dance around the fire and he caught the he caught the eye of this one particular dancer and every time she came around to this side of the fire she would look through the the, the smoke and the sparks and and uh, they would lock eyes for a minute and uh, Now 
He was born a farmer And she was born a queen She was a charmer And he was just a little bit green And with nothing in common And nothing to do They came together From out of the blue Sweet dreams They do Come true now he brought her presents And she felt his desire <laughs> She found him pleasant So she set him on fire They were looking for something that they could call true Both waiting for someone Who was way overdue And sweet dreams They do Come true So he left the country And she left her throne they were feeling so young and alive. He made the money while she made the home. And in no time, a little baby arrived. My father's still that farmer. And my mother, she's still that queen. She's still a charmer And he's still just a little bit green It's nothing uncommon And it ain't nothing new How they came together It could happen to you Because sweet dreams They do Yes, sweet dreams, they still do. Sweet dreams, they still do. I still have them both, my mom and dad. They're still out there in, in Oklahoma, and uh, actually they're doing well. But, uh, you know, I just, uh, uh, Nashville's a long ways from Oklahoma. I don't care how you cut it. You can drive, you can fly, you can ride a mule. It still takes a long time any way you go. Uh, so you heard me, you heard me say my dad's name is Don. My mom's name is Darwita. It's, uh, it's an odd name, a different name, a unique name, but I think a romantic name. It's, it, she's uh, part Choctaw Indian, and uh, the, the correct pronunciation for her name is Dawecha. That's the Choctaw language. But, uh, of course, a name like that gets in the hands of a bunch of Oklahoma hillbillies, and it becomes <laughs> Darwita. <laughs> And, and now they've shortened it even further to Weeder. <laughs> a lot of people on the street will say, hey, Weeder, how's old Don, you know? And I, I was told her recently, I said, gosh, Mom, I, I kind of hate it the way your that beautiful romantic name of yours has been whittled down to Weeder, you know? It <laughs> doesn't have the same ring to it. But, uh, so uh, I want to do you a, a song about Dara Weeder. She's a mandolin picker. She's kind of this, that's more or less where I got my start in music. Uh, 
Well, it's not more or less, it's exactly where I got my start. <laughs> she would sit there and play with me for hours at a time and, uh, and uh, uh, showed me how to really love music. And uh, She still plays mandolin to this day. And uh, this is a song about, uh, they had a little family band when she was growing up down in the, the this little place, you're not going to believe this, but the place she grew up was called Greasy Bend. <laughs> so Darwita grew up in Greasy <laughs> Bend. And, uh, and <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, what happened is my, my buddy Guy one day told, you know, I was having a hard time coming up with something new to, to say in my songs. You, you get to a point where you feel like it's, you know, it's all been said, and there's no, no new way to go about it. And you hit that wall, and guy said, man, just write a song about your mama. He, he's, I got a song for you, too. I, I might ought to do it first. It might, it might hush him up. In fact, I think I will. I can't stand a collar, makes it hard to swallow, but where you go, I'll follow. Hey, I'm a lucky dog. <laughs> I can't get used to getting all this love and petting. You're about to spoil me rotten. Hey, I'm a lucky dog. I used to be a homeless hound. I was running round up and down every street in town. Yeah, but then I found you, baby, and the one kiss drove me crazy. There ain't no ifs or maybes, baby, I'm a lucky dog play. <laughs> you like that, do you, boy? <laughs> it sets my tail. No, let me tell you a story. You know, I, in that first song, I mentioned how Johnny Cash walked out of the back room one night when I was playing, and he said those very words to me. He walked straight up to me as I peed my pants. <laughs> and he walked right up to me and he said, son, I've heard better, but I ain't heard nobody try no harder. <laughs> well, about 20 years later, I got a call from my publisher one day. And apparently, Johnny had heard this Lucky Dog song, and he went down into the recording studio at CBS Songs there, CBS Records, to record it. And they said, Verlin, your, your Lucky Dog song is uh, it's going to be a hit. Johnny's down there recording it right now. Well, I got so excited, you know, you can just imagine. I, I grabbed a couple of credit cards, and I went out shopping, and I... <laughs> <laughs> See, that's, that's, a young, that's a young songwriter for you. When you. You can just visualize those truckloads of royalties rolling in, pouring out of your mailbox, you know, just stacks of royalty checks. And so I went and bought a bunch of stuff I didn't need. Uh, uh, one thing I remember, I bought this red velvet jumpsuit that I... <laughs> Don't ask me why I bought it. Anyway, so I had fun, and I, I came back to the house, and it, was, uh, it wasn't but a couple of days later I got a call from my publisher, and he said, Verlin, he said, I, I hate to tell you, but I got some bad news. He said, it looks like Mr. Cash has had some sort of disagreement with the record company over there, and they're, they're not going to release your song right now. They're going to put it on a shelf there, and in the vault at CBS and and listen that's been like 20 years ago and, and to my knowledge that's still where that song is sitting <laughs> on that shelf in that vault at CBS records and I've never heard it and I don't mind telling you just how much that drives me crazy <laughs> I don't know if Frank and Sue heard me last night they're putting me up over at their house and I was laying in that spare bedroom and uh I was having the same 
repeating nightmare that I always have. I, I, you know how you're just about to drift off? I'm, I'm getting back to you. <laughs> you know how when you're just about to fall, fall off to sleep and, and you kind of jerk and, and you, you get woke up again? Well, that, that's what happens to me. And every time it's because I, I can hear that in the back of my mind. I start hearing that sound. You know, just my mind trying to imagine what it would sound like to have Johnny Cash singing my my song. And uh, so, Frank Sue, I'm sorry if I woke you up. I'm making a lot of noise down there, but you can't help when you hear that in the back of your when you hear <laughs> when you even hear him cough, he goes. <coughs> you just can't stand it. And then sometimes he'll actually kick into it. He'll. Well, it sets my tail to wagging. My tongue is almost dragging. I can't keep from bragging. June, I'm a lucky dog. I used to be a hopeless hound. I was running round up and down every street in town. Yeah, but then I found you, baby, and one kiss drove me crazy. There ain't no ifs or maybes, baby, I'm a lucky dog. There ain't one ifs or maybe, baby, I'm a lucky dog. shut him up, but <laughs> worth a try. It's Greasy Ben, family band, mandolin. She's sitting on the porch with the band one day. They're playing, and they're watching this great battle take place right across the Washita River over there. The Greasy Ben, it, uh, at that time it was not known as Greasy Ben. It was just a sharp curve in the Washita River. But that very day, a watermelon farmer and a hog farmer whose places came together right there uh, got in a big fight because the fence was tore down and the hogs got over there and ate up all the melons and the melon farmer got mad and shot all the hogs so there it lay uh, this this nasty slimy mess laying there on the banks of the Washita River and that was the day it became known as Greasy Ben <laughs> I know this is way more information than you really <laughs> need, but so I guess, you know, when it came time to write a song about my mom, I, I uh, that's what I had to write, you know. <laughs> the fact, it didn't hurt that mandolin rhymed with Greasy Ben. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. I could have used you. I could have used you that. So down in Greasy Bend, she's picking up a storm again. The bridge across the Washita is swaying. You can hear it on the wind. Yeah, the music never ends. Darweeda's mandolin keeps playing. Now, yeah, uh, every hobo coming up the holler used to leave a secret mark upon her gate. It was a sign to all the others who might follow. Saying stop a while and visit man She'll feed you beans and biscuits man And pick some boiling cabbage in down yonder while you wait So down in Greasy Bend They're picking up a storm again The bridge across the Washita is swaying You can hear it on the wind Yeah, the music never ends Darwin's mandolin keeps playing
comes a peddler in his wagon. He's got pots and pans and lots of shiny things. And he promised young Darweeda he would have them. Not no box of candy kisses, no, not no dolly dishes. Her one and only wish was for some brand new Mando strings. So down in Greasy Bend, she's picking up a storm again. The bridge across the Washita is swinging. You can hear it on the wind, yeah, the music never ends. Darweeda's Mando Land keeps playing. My mama's mandolin keeps on playing. Oh, that's good, Mama. But now play it like you mean it. southeast part of the state. My dad, on the other hand, came from the western part of the state, out where it's flat, uh, out on the prairie. They raised cattle, and you know he was more of a cowboy. She's the Indian, he's the cowboy, <laughs> and uh, they uh, they settled out in western Oklahoma, where my dad grew up, and. Uh, actually on the old farm that my granddad, my granddad homesteaded the farm in, uh, in the Oklahoma land rush. And so that's where I grew up on that farm and, and that's where they still are today. And it's, uh, I must say that it's a hard place to live. I, I, I go back as often as I can and I'm, I'm shocked sometimes at just how rough it is there, the, the conditions and the uh, there's just not, you know, it used to be the oil boom and, and uh, there was a lot of hope and promise in the air. But when I go back now, I don't see much of that and it, it worries me. And uh, I asked my dad, you know, why do you, why are you sticking around here? You got, seems like there's always a tornado or a, a, a windstorm of some kind or a, or a fire coming across the prairie. Uh, uh, in the winter time, they have terrible ice storms, uh, droughts in the summer. It's just one thing after another. I said, man, y'all pack up, come to Tennessee, and we can get you a, a little acreage, nice rolling hills, and you, you could make a killing on your cattle. You know, it would be so easy. You wouldn't have to worry about them being thirsty and, and hungry and sick and he said, no, man, I, I, I like it out here. He said, I, I, I said, it, you know, it, isn't it just more trouble than it's worth? And he said, no, no. He said, I like it this way. He said, it, it, uh, these aren't his exact words, but he said something to the effect of this separates the men from the boys. Uh, so he just seems like the tougher things get the more he bows up and enjoys it. He just turned 79, he's still got 300 head of cattle. Nice. With a constant wind across the sand, it can whittle down the toughest man. And the cold sneaks underneath the door Till you don't think you can take no more And that summer sun gets hot as hell It'll dry up all your wishing wells So you build your dream and wait around For that next blue northern to tear it down And you can't change Cattle County Now you can stay Or 
you can go, but you can't change Cat Old County. Ah, the same old wind will always blow. And my dad said, son, I want to tell you right now. Said you don't have to follow that same old plow. Said there's a big old world across the county line, and you can come home anytime you change your mind. But you can't change Cat Old County. Said you can stay, boy, or you can go. But you can't change Cat Old County He said the same old wind will always blow Said you can't change Cattle County. Said you can stay, son, or you can go, but you can't change Cattle County. The constant wind across the sand. He said, I'll deal with it the best I can. What you can't change, you get used to. Until they throw that cattle dirt on you. I want to sing you a song about a guy that uh, that means a lot to, to me and, and all my, my my people there where I grew up. The closest town to me was a little town called Binger, B-I-N-G-E-R, and nothing ever happened in Binger, Oklahoma, nothing, <laughs> until I was about 13 years old, I believe it was, and. Uh, Everybody got excited because one of our high school boys that had been playing high school baseball got signed up to go uh, play ball. And uh, he rose through the ranks quickly, and we all followed him. And uh, he was a huge success. In fact, today he's a Hall of Famer. He's in the, the Baseball Hall of Fame. He played for the Cincinnati Reds, and his name is Johnny Bench, number five. Johnny Bench, and uh, if you don't think that little town is happy about that, still to this day, I mean, uh, there's uh, his name's on the water tower. It's <laughs> you know both ends of town, and there's the Johnny Bench Field where the Johnny Bench Fourth of July tournament is played, and they had the Fourth of July Johnny Bench Parade, and so we're all really proud of him, and uh, not just because he went on and became famous and put us on the map. Damn, that thing's scary. It sounds like a machine gun. But because Johnny is he's a good man, he comes back to that little town of 600 people, and he rides in the back of the pickup at those little parades, and he waves, and he throws candy to the kids, and he shows up at the 4th of July tournaments, and he pounds nails in the outfield wall to help repair it so it looks good, you know, and... That's why we love him. 
He's like barbed wire and baling wire. He's old and rusted. His knees and his knuckles are banged up and busted. But he's polished his buckle and his hat's adjusted. And he's Oklahoma again. Now the water and the oil wells are still pumping. The copperheads coiled and the crappie's still jumping. Old domino players still cussing and shuffling in Oklahoma again. Rain gauge half empty, rain gauge half full. You can't please everyone. You can chase a tornado or ride a wild bull. There's plenty of good claim fun. Now the ladies meet downtown for quilting and patching. They watch out the winter at the drama and the action. Like old Don Vernon Thompson spitting and scratching. Oh, Oklahoma again. Sooners away. It's a cold beer and hot barbecue kind of day. It ain't win or lose, boys. It's how hard you play in Oklahoma again. Rain gauge half empty, rain gauge half full. You can't please everyone, but you can chase your tornadoes and ride your wild bulls. There's plenty of good, clean fun. Now the bases are loaded and the bleachers were packed. And they stopped everything just to give him a plaque. Cause see, he's Hall of Fame Johnny, and he keeps coming back to Oklahoma again. He's like barbed wire and bailing wire, he's old and rusted. His knees and his knuckles are banged up and busted. And it's one more trophy now that'll need to be dusted, but he's Oklahoma again. And it's good to be Oklahoma. Again. O K L A H O M A Oklahoma again. Yeah. <laughs> Number five. Oklahoma stuff. I know y'all are probably getting tired of hearing about Oklahoma. Like, hell, we're in Florida. Sing something sunshiny. <laughs> I want to do a song. What's my time here? Am I already like what? Florida time. Okay, I'm gonna go for a few more minutes. We'll, then we'll take a short break and we can all line up and wait for the other one to pee and <laughs> buy, some buy some CDs. Yeah. And, uh, oh, you know that reminds me. I wanted to tell you. I hate to do this promotional stuff, but uh, I've got a couple of CDs in there, and my, I've got a third one that's really fun. It's me doing exactly this. It, it was recorded at another house concert, and it's, it's two, two discs. There's like 20-something songs on it, and it's all the stories and all the, all the lies that I tell. <laughs> But it's it's out of print. I, I sold them all, and I'm having to have it reprinted, so uh, it's not on there. If anybody really just can't live without it, you can go to my website and get it on there. So, uh, thank and it, you. And it's a great website. You have to go. <laughs> thank you, Marie. I want to, I'm going to get, in the next set, I'm going to get Sue up here to play some fiddle with me. I don't know how many of y'all know. Yes. I don't know how many, yeah, apparently everybody knows, but, you know, I, 
it wasn't until recently that I found out that Sue is the, uh, she's the best fiddle playing rocket scientist that I've ever known. <laughs> I mean, I've known a lot of fiddlers. It's all mathematics. And I must say that she's the first rocket scientist I've ever known. But, but she, she's truly something else, and you're going to love her fiddle playing. I'm going to get her up here for the whole next set, and we're just going to have good fun up yeah. here. And um, I want to do this song for, for Frank and Sue. <laughs> Yeah, one of the things about you that drives me crazy Is the way you drive me crazy every day Yeah, you make me mad about you I don't know what I'd do without you And that's one of the things about you that drives me crazy Yeah, one of the things about you that makes me love you is the way I love you more as time goes by Yeah, the feeling keeps getting stronger It just keeps lasting longer And that's one of the things about you that makes me love you I don't know nothing about rocket science Don't know nothing about chemistry I can't explain it, can't define it all I know is I'm out of this world when you kiss me. Send me into orbit now, five, four, three, two. One of the things about you and me together is the way we go together oh so well. It's just like a sweet duet ever yeah, since the day we met. That's one of the things about you and me together. Nothing about rocket science. I don't know nothing about chemistry. I can't explain it, can't define it. All I know is I'm out of this world when you kiss me. Send me into orbit now. Five, four, three, two. One of the things about you that drives me crazy is the way you drive me crazy every day. Yeah, just like a sweet duet. Ever since the day we met That's one of the things about you That drives me crazy It's just one of the things about you That makes me love you It's just one of the things about you And me together She's never written a song in her life. She's actually a news lady. She does the, the evening news on the Nashville channel there, in, in, uh, on Channel 4 in Nashville. And so, but she's real, uh, she's musically inclined. She actually went to, got her uh, initial scholarship to college on a flute scholarship, believe wow. it or not. And I, how she trans formed that into a journalistic uh, anchor job. I don't know, but anyway, that's what she does. And, and one day we were just sitting around the house. I was trying to get her out of that anchor mindset, you know. I said, let's write us a little song. She said, I can't write a song. I said, yeah, you can. Let's just, I said, we'll make it real simple. It'll be like a, a little blues song, you know. I said, we'll do it something like, uh, I miss your greasy bacon. I miss your scrambled eggs. I miss your greasy bacon. I miss your scrambled eggs. And then I turned to her and said, now you do the next line. She said, I miss your ripe tomatoes. And I miss your skinny chicken legs. <laughs> 
Well, I miss your new potatoes. She said, I miss your butter beans. Oh, I miss your new potatoes. Yes, I miss your butter beans. And then I mentioned, darling, the way you boil my turnip greens. Well, there ain't nothing in the oven, and the coolerator's dry. I'm starving for your loving. Oh, I miss you, pumpkin pie. <laughs> and I said, I miss your jams and jellies. I miss your sugar bowl. Yes, I miss your jams and jellies. I said, I miss my favorite little sugar bowl. I said, now you finish it all. She said, I miss you. She said, no, uh, oh, man. So I miss your jams and jellies. And I miss your sugar bowl. And she said, there ain't nobody else can make my Tootsie Roll. <laughs> Let's take a short break and uh, come back in a minute. Thank you. The most beautiful collection of coats of anyone. If you go to the concert, she'll take you in her personal closet and show you all of her lovely coats. And uh... No, I'm kidding. I told you what I was going to do, and now I'm doing it. I'm, I've got uh, Sue Cunningham up yeah. here on her magic, her magic five-string fiddle, you see. She has an extra string on her fiddle. If people wonder, why is she so good? Well, she's got an extra string. If I had seven strings on my guitar... Sue, I wanna, let's play a song that you've never played before. <laughs> Make it easy. I want to show you, this is, this is how really good musicians do it. I'm going to just show Sue, Sue a little bit of this song, and then we're going to play it for you. And uh, that's, that's the wonderful thing about music is you don't even have to know each other or anything about <laughs> each other. If you just can share a song, all of a sudden you're buddies for life, you know. Sue, so this is a little song. It's a... Uh, Basically, the little melody is like. by yourself. great granddaddy made this fiddle he carved it out of a maple tree he strung it up with some old cat gut then he sent it on down the line to me and it's an old hillbilly hand me down ain't nothing like that old time sound made many a square dance go around it's an old hillbilly hand me down
He carved his bow from a chestnut rail And he strung it up with a stallion tail It had a rattlesnake rattle rattling around And this old hillbilly hand me down It's an old hillbilly hand me down Ain't nothing like that old time sound Ain't many a square dance go around It's an old hillbilly hand me down Gents to the middle and do si -do. Tap your toe to the rocking of the bow And the elbow sawing up and down On an old hillbilly hand-me-down It's an old hillbilly hand-me-down Ain't nothing like that old-time sound Made many a square dance go round It's an old hillbilly hand-me-down Now this old fiddle is an old heirloom It's been in a family since the crack of doom I was lost, but now I'm found With my old hillbilly hand-me-down It's an old hillbilly hand-me-down Ain't nothing like that old-time sound Made many a square dance go around This old hillbilly hand-me-down Sean Camp, uh, he wrote that and uh, hadn't really played it much, so that that's good. I see. I, you know what? I've got another fiddle song. Let's do another fiddle song. Well, it's in G two. I don't know. It might sound too much like the other. <laughs> Now, Sophie played the fiddle at the Cafe Bonchamps Every Saturday night on the Rue de la France Her mama would wait the tables and her papa tend the bar And if you buy him a drink, you'd play some rhythm guitar And say, get up and dance, turn yourself around let your feet and your troubles slide We don't care where you come from Tonight we step out On the losing side Now Sophie met a sailor And fell head over heels he carried her off to live in Mobile. He worked hard on a shrimp boat and come home tired and sore to find Sophie and the children all waiting at the door. Hollering, get up and dance, Papa. Turn yourself around. Let your feet and your troubles slide. We don't care where Tonight we step out on the losing side. Now 
so he kept adding to the family tree and one of her babies babies is me and now i play her fiddle with family pride it comes from my grandma on the louisiana side so get up and dance turn yourself around let your feet and your troubles slide i don't care where you come from tonight we step out on the louisiana side i don't care where you come from tonight we step out on the losing side. up early and I left home I stuck out on one of my thumbs I was a little bit crazy a little bit loosey and I, here I come I've been a hearing about them Cajun girls and I want to go down to the bottom of the world hey 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 bon chambre what I done told you we tangled up in the sheets of her bed I fell in love with her heel over head Like the river she's wild, like the sugar she's sweet Tesla Donna Lafitte yeah. Now Tesla Donna Lafitte, my mind Eyes back of water blue as she's a busting out of that pretty red dress and gypsy black hair too. Yeah, the next thing I know, the next thing I say, she's on my arm and away we go. Ha ha ha, she's a big my voice, what I done told you. We tangled up in the sheets of her bed. I fell in love with her, he over her head. Like the river, she's wild, like the sugar, she's sweet. Tesla down on the feet. sweet but no more kissing just a whole lot of missing tesla donna lafitte i want to tell you about them cajun girls they'll drop you off at the edge of the world i don't know what i say there ain't no guarantee we tangled up in the sheets of her bed i fell in love with her heel over head like the river she's wild like the sugar she's sweet Tesla Donna Lafitte Yeah, we tangled up in the sheets of her bed I fell in love with her, he lowered her head Like the river, she's wild, like the sugar, she's sweet Tesla Donna Lafitte you to know that uh, I met Sue because of her uh, uh, sweetheart Frank. Uh, I'd known Frank 
for several years. He, he's a wonderful photographer, and he shows up at all these festivals that I play at. And, you know, I never really uh, got to know him very well because he's always behind the camera, you know. I, I knew there was a guy that had a ponytail and a ball cap, but I really never knew what he what he looked like until one day we finally uh, we finally got to sit down and talk. And, uh, and Frank told me uh, that he that he'd always wanted to write songs, you know, and, and had been writing some songs and uh, wanted to write some more. And I said, well, shoot, Frank, uh, I'll write some songs with you. And we did. And that Tesla Donna Lafitte was one of them. And, uh, and here's another one. We're going to step away from the Cajun uh, sound for a minute. We're going to go into Spanish territory. Sue, are you ready for that? You, you got your Spanish uh, mariachi sound going. Let's see, uh, we get it in my head. Oh, yeah. Saturday night was just getting started. Out beneath the canteen of lights And Mexico's daughter wore Mexican silver And jangled her way into Mexico's night With mission bells ringing and sweet angels singing She was born out beneath Sonora's full moon And the sounds and the colors of old Mexico Made their way on the wind up into her room She moved with the grace of a reckless abandon She wore scarlet roses tied in her hair And the stars hung down just a little bit lower to watch as she danced in the cool midnight air. Saturday night was just getting started out beneath the canteen light. Mexico's daughter wore Mexican silver and jangled her way into Mexico's night. She shared a drink with a dark desperado And the sweetness of the whiskey loosened the night She was spinning and dancing around on her heels With a devil-may-care look in her eyes And he held her close out on the veranda They kissed and he held her young body so tight all but a rifle was aimed at the dark desperado when Mexico's daughter stepped into its sights. The trigger was touched and the hammer was falling. The barrel was smoking and the bullet took flight. And the red, uh, red the blood and the dust Mixed with roses and silver And Mexico's daughter Was lost to the night Saturday night Was just getting started Out beneath the canteen lights Mexico's daughter wore Mexican silver and jangle her away in Mexico's night. Yeah, but me and Frank, 
truckloads of royalty checks. <laughs> Coming down the highway, looking for our post office. He didn't get one of those red velvet. Oh, good. Yeah. Don't waste your money, please. It'll hang in your closet. You'll never wear it. Trust me. Gold Lemay lasts longer. Gold Lemay. For one thing, I, I cannot believe this happened. I, on the break, a, a, a lovely gal comes up to me. She's from Caddo, or she lived in Caddo County. Cindy. Cindy. Cindy Hackney. She she lived in Chickasha. She knows all about Anna Darko. She she had friends all over there, and and uh, so she, you know, we were kind of reliving the, the whole. Caddo County, Oklahoma experience, and it's so unbelievable that here in this part of Florida that someone that has lived out there in Caddo County would, would be two of us. <laughs> oh, really? Well, there's more to the story, huh? Cowboys and Indians, that's all. Oh, here she is. Cowboys and Indians. Cowboys and Indians, you know. Did you date yeah. up Johnny Bench? Or that rusty. Yeah. Or that. <laughs> that rusty. Um, so anyway, that was great, Cindy. Me, me talking to you. Makes me want to go back. I haven't been back in 30 years. Well, a lot hasn't changed there. <laughs> no, a lot has changed, and uh, it, it may not be. As beautiful as you imagine it, but I mean it is. It's I don't want it, it's a beautiful place, but it's it's rugged. It's and then I talked to some wonderful uh, folks that uh, have like a they they uh, have a Suzuki school and, and teach music and uh, uh, they they love to travel and uh, enjoy talking to them and. Uh, and then I learned, I didn't know this, that uh, that Arlene is a wonderful finger-style guitarist, <laughs> folk singer, uh, somewhat of a, of a diva around here, I find out. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm glad I didn't know all this about Arlene and the music teachers before we started, because I would have been <laughs> nervous as hell up here, <laughs> knowing that they were like critiquing my every lick. So I was thinking about trying some kind of a little finger style thing. I mean, uh, you know, I went through a phase where everything I played was with my fingers and, and then I gradually went back to my little flat pick and now it's more of a hybrid thing. I, I, I pick with my plectrum here and and then with these three fingers so I use uh, all five of them really and uh, that just comes from doing it every night and trying to figure out as many tricks as you can to get it get the message across it, it's all uh, about serving the song and um, anyway this is not like a an, any kind of intricate finger style thing, uh, anybody could play this, but you'll see the difference in, that when you just play with the, the soft tips of your fingers and you sort of caress the strings, and, and I think this is a good song to caress the strings on. still happen I guess that's what it's gonna take if you're ever gonna trust me after treating you that way yes I know how bad I 
And I know that I can't pay for that mistake But I can love you like there's no tomorrow If you love me like there was no yesterday Tear out the pages No, and the past can't be erased Yeah, but we can close that chapter, darling And we can put that book away And we could start a new love story And all we'd have to say Is I love you like there's no tomorrow If you just love me like there was no yesterday like nothing ever happened Like you still trust me heart and soul Like no tears had ever fallen Like no lies were ever told Yes, I know how bad I must have hurt you And I know that I can't pay for that mistake But I can love you like there's no tomorrow If you love me like there was no yesterday I can love you like there's no more tomorrow If you love me like there was no yesterday singing love songs. Let me, I told you that I have a sweetie too. Uh, a lot of people don't believe it because I'm, every, every time they see me all around the country, I'm solo, you know, but I got her and she's a sweet one and she's a, she's the, you know, words fail me. She's, and they failed me for a long time because, uh, we were we dated for about eight years, and, and after about eight years, and I know I'm slow to <laughs> make decisions, but, but she came up to me about the end of that eighth year, I think it was, and she said, Barla, I just want to tell you, she said, you know what, uh, I love to hear your new songs, she said, I, you got songs about all kinds of s s different things, you know, you got Cajun songs and Spanish songs, songs about dogs. And she said, but I, I'm just kind of thinking, I haven't really heard a song about me, have I? Have I been? <laughs> I said, no, sweetie, but I'm working on that. And I got, I got one in the works, and you're going to love it. And I was, that was an absolute lie. I had nothing. I mean, I had been thinking about it. But I got to tell you, as a writer, for me anyway,
the hardest thing you'll ever do is write a song for someone you love and care for because you want it to be so bad, so good, you know, and you're afraid to even begin because you know it just is not going to measure up. And so I, I had put it off and had different ideas, and I didn't know what to write. And I guess the only thing that saved me was I was listening to the radio one day, and uh, it was one of those NPR interview things, and they, they were talking to a, a, an opera singer um, who, who married a hog farmer. She was from New York, and, and they were on this airplane flight, and she, uh, she, she met this guy, and they, you know, they exchanged numbers or whatever, and one thing led to another, and they fell in love, they got married, and now she sings opera, but she lives in Indiana on the hog farm with, with him, you know? And so they're interviewing this lady, saying, how's this work out for you, you know? She goes, oh, it's working out great, she said. I've moved out there on the farm, and she said, the hogs are getting used to me. Uh, she said, I, I rehearse out on the back porch, you know, and the first few times the hogs broke out and scattered all over the country. <laughs> but she said, they're actually getting used to me, and it's working out fine. And she was telling all these wonderful stories, and, and the, the interviewer said, ma'am, our listeners don't know this, but she said, he said, your husband is sitting right here in the studio with us. And he's sitting there, he hasn't made a sound. He hasn't said a word. He, he must be a very shy and humble guy. How do you go about getting a guy like that? I mean, you know, you're a big, boisterous opera star, and how did this come to, to pass? And, and she thought for a while, there was some dead air. She thought, and she said, well, let me just put it like this. She said, I chased him till he caught me. <laughs> and when I heard her say that, I thought, hey, that's, that's, that's my story, you know? And it was just enough to, to get me going. And this is what I came up with. She chased me till I caught her. And I'm lucky to be found. You see Mike and Betty's daughter She turned my life around Well I had pushed away love It was fading from my world Till I saw it in the shape of Mike and Betty's girl When I shake her daddy's hand I can see her in his eyes And he gave her that smooth and easy going Yeah, and bless her darling mother That's where the beauty lies And my life is a better life just knowing That Mike and Betty raised her With love and honesty Why it's almost like they made her As a special gift for me Somehow somebody watching from somewhere up above Said let's give him the best we have to offer They said let's find a perfect angel A beauty full of love Let's give him Mike and Betty's daughter So she chased me till I caught her And I'm lucky to be found 
Cause Mike and Betty's daughter She turned my life around I'm lucky to be a fan I thank God he sent her down To turn my life around She, she had some tears in her eyes, and she gave me a big old hug, and I thought, oh, good, I've scored. I've done it. I've, things are going to be okay now. And then they were for, for a couple weeks. <laughs> and she came up to me, and she's got this way, you know, she came up to me. She said, you know, Verlin, I just want to tell you. She said, I love that song. She said, I, I can't tell you how much it means to me. I'm always going to cherish that song. It's, it's one of the most beautiful things anyone's ever done for me. And she just went on and on and on. And it, and, but then she goes, but you know, the more I listen to it, I, I realize it, that's about my mom and dad, isn't it? <laughs> Well, I said, yeah, it is, sweetie, but I got another one that I'm working on that's just for you. <laughs> so I, I spent several nights just sitting alone in the dark. I, I, I really had to kind of get a, a, a grip on this and try to, and I, I sat there trying to figure out, you know, how can I say, what can I possibly say, how can I do this to try to get across to her how I feel about this. And I, I the, this is the best I could come up with was, was that it's kind of, you know, it feels like, it feels like we kind of go through, well, I, okay, me. It feels like I have gone through my life sort of doing this dance, and, and I, I, well, I'll, I'll, let me just sing it for you. It was never a matter of learning the steps or the rhythm or knowing my right from my left. I just never could find the right partner, I guess. I was doing the get to you waltz. Well, I slipped and I swayed when I should have sashayed, I limped home alone from some sad promenades. But I learned from every mistake that I made. I was doing the get to you waltz. Now there's nothing prettier and there's nothing sweeter than two perfect partners. Moving is one. It's take me, it's trust me, and it's follow the leader. That's the way it's supposed to be done. Yeah, but so many nights I just leaned on the wall. I'd find the dark corner at the back of the hall. I didn't know. At the time, it was all part of doing that get to you waltz.
So I kept taking partners and just watching my feet go in different directions and missing the beat. And then I bow to the ladies and go back to my seat. Still doing that get to you waltz. Oh, but then I remember seeing you in the crowd. I remember when I took your hand. I remember it was like we were dancing on clouds. Remember we wore out the band. Now we'll dance till the soles of our shoes are thin. There ain't no sitting out, and there ain't no cutting in. Cause now we're together, and I'll never again be doing the get to you waltz. No, no more get to you waltz. That's the end of the get to you walls. And I'm glad to say that I played this in our wedding two years ago. Back to my dog songs and horse songs, you know, easy stuff. Speaking of a song about a horse, here's one. Joe Walker's mare was a mighty good ride. She was no bag of bones, she was no honk of hide. And he gave her to me the day that he died. Joe Walker's mare was a mighty good ride. When Joe Walker found her, she was lonesome and lame. Her tail in a tangle, birds in her mane. In the Arbuckle Mountains, in a cold pouring rain. When Joe Walker found her, she was lonesome and lame, y'all. Joe Walker rode her for 20-some years. He viewed most of the country between her two ears. He found him a good one, and he never switched gears. Joe Walker rode her for 20-some years. She never reared up. She never broke loose. She'd carry a queen or a Choctaw papoose. Bareback and bridle, no saddle, no use. She never reared up, no, she never broke loose. She pulled the wagon that hauled him away In the box that he built for his burying day She even dropped her head for the preacher to pray And then I unhitched the wagon And they hauled him away And I never rode her It just didn't seem right You know, I brushed her and I combed her Most every night And I thought about it but dream as I might, I would not ride her. It just didn't seem right. So in the Arbuckle Mountains, somewhere running free, is the son of that mare Joe Walker gave me. I turned him loose the day that she died. Joe Walker's mare was a mighty good ride. She was no bag of bones, no hunk of hide. Joe Walker's mare was a mighty good
don't even know where to go after that. <laughs> I kind of lost my thread. Uh, let me think, let me recompose here. Uh, hey, you know what I do, I, I, I do need to do is I want to, before I get too lost here in my own world, is to say thank you, well, n not only to you guys for, uh, you know, like I said earlier, for, for, for making the effort and coming and supporting live music. Uh, I don't know, you may not believe it, but it's kind of a dying thing. Uh, there are some places I go that people have almost almost given up on it. They almost think it's a, it's a thing that people used to do. They're kind of shocked when they just see a guy with a guitar stand up there and entertain you know uh, they they think they has there has to be lights and uh, drum machines and dancing girls wiggling their butts and stuff yeah thank you for bringing me back to earth you're right you're right what was i thinking but, uh, so thank you guys uh, it really it i mean it 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 keeps me going. I, I, I sometimes feel like a, an old man. You know, I've, I'm getting uh, s stiff joints, and uh, I got all the problems that we all get, you know. But every time, every time I get up here and I start doing this, I feel like a child, like a kid again. I don't, I don't hurt anywhere. I don't worry about anything, and it's the most wonderful thing and, and you guys do it for me. You make me feel like a natural woman. <laughs> no, th I, thank you, but what I'm getting to is I want to thank Rob and Arlene for opening up their home. This is an amazing thing. just open their doors to to all us strangers to come in and and you know spill stuff on their couch and, and track mud on the carpet and uh, forget about the bathroom situation you know they, they probably got a plumber already on call for tomorrow but it just amazes me that 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 people are this open and trusting and willing to 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 share not only their love of music, but their actual home and their stuff with us. So, you know, help them take care of it and be nice and and uh, and, and say an extra big thank you to them when you leave tonight. So. And let's see, do I have any other major announcements? <laughs> the unfinished business that we haven't covered. Well, I'd like to say thanks for Marina for Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Marie. Yay. All right. It's a great honor to play with you. For keeping this kind of music alive here as well. Absolutely, Marie. I've, I've gotten to know Marie over the years. We, we, we show up at, uh, at, at this one particular festival, and, and uh, we, we run across each other in other places, and I just... I think she's just got the warmest way about her, and she's so sweet, and, and not to mention her talent. So I, the, when they uh, they said something about, oh, you know, Marie might be available to come by and do so, I said, get her, call her. And uh, so I'm glad she was here. Thanks, Marie. Yeah. Probably should start wrapping this thing up, shouldn't I? You're out of here. Another 25, 35, 45 minutes. Songs. <laughs> <laughs> Without a leak. Even an hour. Uh, well, let me, I, I, I don't want to leave. There's so much I wanted to do for you um, that I, I don't want to leave anything out. Let me let me do this. Um, you know, I normally don't. I kind of like to be the underdog. I, I, I kind of like to pretend like I, you know, I'm just the old struggling troubadour. 
appreciate y'all. And I do. I, that, that's, that's true, but, but I must admit, it's been a good year for me. It's, it's been an unbelievable year for me. I, I had a, uh, one of my songs was nominated for a, a CMA award, Country Music, uh, Country Music Association. It didn't win, but it was nominated. And I've just, I'm thankful to the Lord above that I even was nominated. So I got, I had that. And then I had a song nominated for the International Bluegrass Music Association Song of the Year. Wow. And it didn't win, but I'm just <laughs> thankful to the Lord that I was even mentioned. And then I, I, I have a, uh, a song nominated uh, in the Grammy Awards for the country vocal collaboration with uh, uh, Dirks Bentley recorded this song and did it with a couple other people and their, their version is nominated and I don't know if it'll win but even if it don't I'm going to thank the Lord above that I'm even mentioned. <laughs> and then I got another Grammy nomination as a producer on Guy Clark's latest album for Contemporary Folk Album of the Year or something like that. And we're up against some pretty major people, so we probably won't win. But I'm here to tell you, I'm thanking the Lord above that I've even been mentioned. This is a song that was nominated for that Bluegrass Music uh, Song of the Year award, and it's, and I'm really, you know, I'm even. Uh, especially proud of this because every word of this song is absolutely a, a true fact and it's it's the true story of of an old banjo picker that was uh, known by the name of string bean and this is the the ballad of string bean and his lovely wife estelle Ridge Top, Tennessee, in 1973, the brown boys killed String Bean and Estelle. And the reason for it all was in the bib of his overalls. At least that's what the brown boys would tell. Yeah, the thieves lay in wait for hours. But things didn't go their way It was just a simple plan To rob a banjo man But he would not let go of his Opry pay Now there must have been one hell of a struggle for the cash in his bib overalls The brown boy said don't give us no struggle strength They said we came for some but now we want it all Yeah the thieves said stand and deliver But string bean would not tell and later we would learn that was the point of no return. They shot him dead, and then they shot his still. just so happened that right across the little gravel road from String Bean lived his best buddy, an old boy named Grandpa Jones, another banjo picker. 
And those two guys would get up every morning of their lives and they would meet and go fishing before daylight. Every day they would do this. When he didn't see no smoke from the chimney, Grandpa knew that something was not right. And now it's burned evermore in his memory. The picture of that dreadful, awful sight. But then 23 years later, when they tore the old fireplace down, there was $20,000 that the brown boys never found. It seemed like easy money But things didn't go their way It was just a simple plan To rob a banjo man But he would not let go of his Opry pay No, he would not let go of that Opry pay And I ask you, is anything sacred? And I do believe that I have heard it all. Why, well, I read it in this morning's paper where they auctioned off old strings, overalls. And here's the one that was that was nominated for the CMA award and also for uh, for the Grammy thing. I, uh, this is how this stuff works. You write a song 20 years ago. <laughs> it's kind of like the Johnny Cash story. I, you know, I wrote this uh, some years ago. You know, and you you write them and uh, you you kind of set them aside and you go on to the next one. Well, I'm walking through the Home Depot one day and. <laughs> I'm looking for light bulbs. I'm just burning light bulbs out like crazy at the house. You know, we cannot keep the house in light bulbs. I don't know what's going on. So I was about halfway mad about the whole deal, and wandering through the light bulb section of Home Depot, and my cell phone went off, and I grabbed it, and I said, Hello. <laughs> hey, Verlin, this is John Randall. John, is a, he's a wonderful singer and picker and producer and wonderful guy and I said hey John that's a he said what are you doing I said wow I'm looking for light bulbs Home Depot you know. <laughs> he goes well buy a case of them I said what he, he said we're in the studio with Dirks Bentley and he said we're gonna cut your uh, song about the bad angel and he said we're gonna we're going to record it, and, and then we're going to bring in this uh, this other singer named Miranda Lambert. She's a big, hot female country singer. We're going to get her on there. She's going to sing one of the verses. And then we're going to get another guy named Jamie Johnson. He's a big, <coughs> big star. We're going to bring him in. He's going to sing another verse. And he said, we're going to make it the vocal event of the year. I said, well, hurry. <laughs> He said, well, all right, I just wanted to check with you and make sure it was okay. And I said, well, yeah, it's okay. Go on, do it, you know. And well, You don't have to ask me, just do it. And so they did, and so it was nominated for Country Vocal Collaboration of the Year, just like he said it would be. It's, it's pretty amazing. And uh, it's just a simple little fun little song about temptation. Well, I woke up bound and 
and determined that I would not light up today. But one drag would sure stop my shaking. Yeah, and right now I could go either way. Bad angel, get off my shoulder. Bad angel, let me be. I'm standing at the crossroads of temptation and salvation street. Well, the cap, the cap is on the bottle. And the bottle is up on the shelf to take it or to leave it. Oh, how am I supposed to help myself? Everybody, bad angel, get off of my shoulder. Bad angel, let me be. I'm standing at the crossroads. I'm standing. Cross of salvation, uh, of temptation and salvation street. Oh. should not gamble because I can't afford to lose she'd hang me from the rafters with the laces out of my own working shoes Did you help me bad angel get off of my shoulder bad angel let me be bad angel Standing at the crossroads of temptation and salvation street. Let's do it again. Sometimes it's a fight, but your rewards will double if you do what's right. <laughs> so if the creek's too high for crossing, just search for higher ground. If it's a trouble path that you're walking, you better back up, back up, and turn around. Saying 
this wall is too high to climb while the wise man just starts moving one stone at a time you can't look the easy answer you will not be satisfied but for every door that closes you know another opens wide so if the dream is high or cross just search for Folks, they were already uh, had it, had it kind of timed so they could go pee, and then <laughs> when you do an encore, it throws them off because it's kind of it's kind of already started. <laughs> um, a lot of people tonight have asked me about my guitar. I was passing by a pawn shop over in the older part of town when something caught my eye and I stopped and turned around and I went inside and there I spied in the middle of it all this beat up old guitar just hanging on the wall what do you want for that piece of junk I asked the old man and he just smiled and he took it down and he put it in my hand and he said you tell me what it's worth son you're the one that wants it he said, tune it up and play a song and let's just see what haunts it. I 
So I hit a couple of chords in my old country way of strumming. And then my fingers turned to lightning. Man, I never saw it coming. It was like I always knew it, but I don't know where I learned it. It was a dream come true, so I just reared back and burned it. nothing I couldn't pick up and down the neck man I never missed a lick it was like that guitar played itself and there was nothing I could do it was getting hard to tell just who was playing who and when I finally finished I was almost out of breath my hands were shaking and my shirt was soaking wet and that old man jumped up and he grinned and he said where in the hell you been he said, I've been waiting all these years for you to stumble in. And then he grabbed an old wore out case and said, go on, pack it up. He said, you don't owe me nothing. Yeah, but when he said good luck, there was something spooky in his voice and a strange look on his face. And when I closed the lid, I saw my name was on the case.